So, we like to be completely naked so that we can be like one on one, you know, clear, nothing in between. <laughs> so, there is certain things that haven't come through, and I'm just gonna share it. And I know that there is people that understand, and there is people who don't. and. It's been kind of a while dry because, you know, there's some people that are really tied to creation and God and source and are able to download the messages and able to see, have visuals and see what's happening in the world and give us somehow a guidance. And somehow I believe I've been um, stopping myself from sharing a lot because of the judgment of other people who do not comprehend, who do not understand these kind of things, because we do these things. Um, again, I've been doing yoga, meditation, breathing, and finding alternative ways to tap into source. And when I do that, it's really eye-opening, really eye-opening, the fact that we are able to um, sit down and manifest that reality for the collective and, you know, kind of like get rid of your ego and your selfish acts and actually withdraw everything in order to actually sit down and hold the grids down for the collective and healing and because there is so much happening out there and there is so much that needs to be um, talked about, I guess, uh, when we're sitting down and we're drawing and breathing and tapping into knowledge and tapping into just the messages and it kind of, I don't want to say it, but I have to and it kind of sucks too because like I love technology and we're going to talk about technology that's the whole subject part about this we're going to talk about technology and how it's been affecting our lives and point number one um holding our phones or hands right here our hands are directly connected to our hemispheres. The left hand connects to the right hemisphere, the right hand connects to the left hemisphere. And the hands have lost so many nerves, you know, we can feel, we can touch, we can sense, we can send energy, we can receive so much through the hands. So holding a phone with our hands all the time, I call it creates chains. We are creating a chain because we are maintaining a posture, we are crystallizing in place, and we are getting a stagnant, and the energy is not flowing, we're not touching natural sources, we're touching technology, we're not touching artificial stuff, but live things they were meant to be touching, you know, are the things that are the best, the most beneficial for us. And yeah so i can tell all the nerves that goes through the neck you know like and then people are creating a bad posture and that posture starts directly affecting the heart directly affecting the way you're breathing the way you're presenting yourself into life and there's just like levels so many levels and I've been doing a little bit of the detox with the phones, kind of like, okay, you know, like unplug and plug it back into what, just plug what, what, everything else that there is to plug into. And I've been plugging into nature, I've been plugging into myself, meditate, and I've been plugging into breathing and meditating and just finding out the importance of meditation because it's really 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 important that we're able to just sit down quietly and be without distractions and 
be able to see yourself for what you are and sense your surroundings for what they are and still breathe with it and relax in the moment and just doing that it starts you know activating canalizing and it starts connecting you to something higher than your phone you know what i mean your phone connects you to a lot of information thanks it for the mind but it also like it can create addiction you know we know all this about addictions with the phones like blah 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 so restoring going back to connecting to source you know and using uh ways you know stretching moving breathing listening to music that helps you get there is the best way but also i want to share that we because of technology has been such an influence in our nervous system uh all the lights create a ringing everything that has electricity has a sound i can hear it i'm that sensitive i don't know if people can but i do so all these extra lights are creating a frequency that is literally um, stressing our nervous system. And it's, it's been mandated by the government that you have this kind of, you know, like we don't have options. The only option is the option that they sell us at the store. And the options that they sell us at the store are things that are not good for us, really, because technology and electricity, lights, um, I mean, if you research enough or you compare the world that we live in now to the world that we used to live before, one, number one point, electricity, they're using nuclear uh, power plants in order to produce all this electricity and all these nuclear power plants are using petroleum. So we are using so much electricity to destroy our own planet. Okay, all right, <laughs> congratulations. On top of that, we are like a, like wiring ourselves to this artificial um, grid. This artificial grid that really just keeps sucking the life out of us and it really doesn't serve us and it really doesn't uh, support the natural rhythms, biological rhythms that we as humans have and a lot has been lost because, uh, you know, it makes me think of indigenous tribes, you know, they didn't used to have any of these things and they used to use their actual minds to actually do stuff and they want to know something they sit down and meditate you know or the buddhist the monks they want to continue tapping into swords then sit down and meditate and now we are very, being very distracted and we're being encouraged to continue feeding our egos and our egos they want attention and they want to show you this or that and that la la and yeah it's not for likes and things like that i'm doing this video right now um but for awakening so i want to just make my part in the world and just make sure that we are helping each other to stay conscious because obviously there's so much ignorance in the world and i thought we were kind of conscious but by the way i see it with all these led lights in the cars like dude like that blinds the shit out of you like how is that gonna help you see better when you're being blinded every fucking second like that doesn't make sense and i believe deers have like a more sensitive eyesight so they get extra blinded and yeah i don't know i believe technology is definitely being put out there in order for us to continue destroying ourselves unless we take charge and figure out a way that is uh, balanced. I remember when I was young, I used to have two hours of TV and that was it. And I would choose my two hours of technology and that was it, you know? And now we, they, we're grownups and we have all this technology and we're in it all the time. We could be in it all the time, but I have sent my prayers and my Hmm, let's see. 
I mean, it's like so sad the fact that children today and all this propaganda, like everything that's happening in the world is being um, orchestrated in a way to awaken people, but also the people that who are not awake and able to see and grow from these things, then they take it personal and then they become an advocate towards a destruction instead of a construction you know so i would like to invite everyone to be really mindful of how you are expressing yourself out because there is so many as i've been watching on news and tv and movies and things like that not all you know i'm a huge marvel fan um but as i keep watching um some stuff is constant 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 negativity negativity stress negativity and stress Hi again, and I also want to mention that before technology, um, I guess I'm confused because like everything that we're doing to ourselves, like in the planet, I guess it's a whole like loop, right? Um, creating jobs and putting a bunch of stimulation signs. 